Hey guys, winter's back at the off-grid homestead and tiny house on wheels. Um, can you see all that? Uh, we got snow, but it's melting. We cleaned off the solar panels, and um, I am working indoors packing and on other things um, outside of YouTube. So, we'll see how the day goes along. I was bringing in 250 watts a bit ago, but um, now we have more heavy, heavy snow. Uh, I thought it was over, but it's not. Now I'm going to have to clean the panels again. Goofy weather. Now it's sunny. Um, and a little bit of wind. By the way, I don't know if you can see that spinning. Yes, now you can. When the wind turbine is spinning fast, it appears to be standing still on camera. And somebody actually called me a liar because they said it wasn't moving when it was actually spinning super, super fast. Um, somebody, some of you may know the effect. Now it's slowing down visibly, actually in reality. Some of you may know the effect that when the um, wind turbine is spinning super fast on camera, it appears to be standing still. Um, I think the trees moving should have proven that day that that was moving. But anyway, it's spinning slowly and gracefully. We have some little bit of wind coming and going. We are in absorption mode at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which is good. And my laptop has been on all day. Very nice. So, wow. It's, uh, we're getting back into the longer days. The sun is higher in the sky and um, the trees being cleared out. I'm getting more sunlight hours on the solar panels. And we got more and more power every day. See, there's a period in um, peak summer where the trees are all green and I get less hours. There's a period in peak winter where there's just not enough sunlight hours at all and the sun is below the trees too low. And there's now, which is awesome, awesome, awesome power. Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I am up in my tiny house office and I am working on the Amperex capacitor banks. I am soldering capacitors into banks of five, making them 12 volt banks for um, multiple purposes basically. But I have, uh, so that's three, six, nine, 12, 15 volts, because these are three volts capacitors at 400 farads each. So that gives the Amperex capacitor is an advantage over others because the others are 2.5 or 2.7 volts and so I get a much higher capacity and um, I get when I string together the voltage with most capacitors you have to put six together in order to be able to use them in uh, 12 volt systems like for off-grid or automotive systems you have to string up six and if you remember when I talked about capacitors previously, when you put capacitors in series to increase their voltage, you're actually reducing the overall capacity considerably. Um, I'd have to refer back to my article that I wrote, but these are 400 farad capacitors, which is another advantage over the competition, because the competition is uh, 300 or 350 farads on average. And so I think, if I remember right, you get about 80 farads when you string these up together in 5. Now if you take the competitors and you string them up together with 6 to get a 12 volt system, you only have like 50 farads. So there's a major advantage here with the Amperex capacitors in the voltage and the capacity. Now I'm stringing them up together in banks of 5 each so that I will be able to increase the overall capacitance of the bank, of the capacitor bank. So I am going to continue on working for a while on these, stringing them up. And I'm not going to tell you any detail about this, but I'm working on a balancing circuit um, for this. But that is something I can't share uh, the details of. Anyway, I am... Um, working with soldering surface mount devices and boy that's that's a job so I had to go and get my um, helping hands with a magnifying glass here to be able to help 
Actually, the helping hands has helped me here. And what I've got, oh, I'm doing this today. I've got a coil of household electrical wire because it's 10 gauge, three strands at 10 gauge, and it was the cheapest. It's actually cheaper by far to buy household electrical wire, uh, 10 gauge, than it is to buy a single spool of 10 gauge wire, a single strand, solid, solid uh, wire. So right now I'm using the ground wire just because it's too much trouble to strip off the others. But I will eventually get down and strip off the others as well and use them. And uh, using them as bus bars, so to say, as conductors between the capacitors because a 10 gauge wire carries a lot of current and these capacitors are able to absorb and deliver a super lot of current in one moment so right here is a bank that should start my old garden tractor and that's what I'm experimenting experimenting on right now is um, starting some vehicles and when I get five sets together then I'm going to experiment with starting my car, which is the big ultimate mega challenge. Now, balancing circuits are used because when you charge your capacitors, there's something called a leakage current in between. And um, you need, well, that's a lot of complicated math, but when you charge your capacitors, one might take more charge than the others around it, which would make this have an over voltage and the others be under voltage. So you need a balancing circuit, which um, make sure that all the capacitors get the same charge and the same voltage and that is going to be a proprietary circuit but that is something I'm working on right now and uh, going to be testing out here in the coming days and weeks so anyway I'm going to get back to work now there guys is a heavy duty bank of capacitors that has a right now a current capacity of two volts each capacitor has point zero point three nine or zero point four volts when you add them up I ended up with two volts total in each bank so here's a bank right here and here's a bank and here and here so I've got five banks of capacitors and then connected in parallel which gives me uh, an increased overall capacity so I'll have to do the math I don't want to lie to you but I'm gonna say um, over 300 farads 300 to 400 farads is where I'll be back to again now but I gotta do the math I don't want to lie so don't take me at that uh, take that as a quote but that's how you get increased um, voltage and increased capacity so this is a 15 volt bank now at between 300 and 400 farad capacity so that's a pretty hefty amount of power right there that is a serious amount of power so now I can do some capacitor experiments and fun <laughs> 